Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, Land Rover Defender 90 XD, better known as a Wolf, except this one is a winterized waterproof one. Um, very rare. Two videos, one, uh, one driving, one walk around, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. I'm looking right into the sun, so excuse me if I'm squinting. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, Def Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI XD Wolf. This one's a bit special in that it's a winterized waterproof one. Um, very rare. Uh, 90 hard top this one. Uh, although like a lot of the hard tops, it's got a few fittings on it. Looks like it might have been a soft top. Uh, I think what tended to happen with these winterized waterproof ones, they did leave the factory as, uh, as standard wolves and then were recalled for, uh, for reconversion to uh, waterized and winterproof ones. Waterproof and winterized. Um, and this is one of them. Um, spec wise pretty much standard wolf remus in other words it's got the um the front anti-roll bar system on it and the uh the matting on the floor so it's at least a remus um otherwise as far as the winterized and waterproof one goes under the bonnet it's got a Robasto preheater uh, which we haven't checked in fairness it's got this periscope snorkel uh, which in theory means that it can actually submerge up to the top of the snorkel although i think you'd have to be pretty brave to try it uh, I think in uh, exercises they, they uh, waded ashore up to the neck and shoulders of the driver, even so. Um, too pretty brave to do that, I think. Uh, other, other changes from a standard wolf, you've got a, a door for the fuel fillers under there, waterproofing. Um, you've got these racks on the top, I've no idea what they're for in fairness, but all waterized winterproof ones seem to have that. Uh, I'm told that wooden bit at the back there is something to do with a strop for helicopter lifting but I'm afraid I don't know why or how. Um, inside in the back here pretty much standard Wolf 90 hardtop except you've got these big radiators in the back because apparently this is rated to go down to minus 46 degrees C or F I can't remember but um, very very cold certainly. So that's what these big radiators down here for. Um, it's got the original sort of radio operator seat in it, which has seen better days. Split there, and it's got some of the original radio fittings in the back here. Um, and as I say, it's got all this uh, insulation in the back of it, as it should have. And the uh, radio stop button. So it's, it's like most of them, it's an FFR fitted for radio. Um, some additional bits and pieces here, I don't know what that does, what that does, we presume it's part of the same thing. Uh, the spare wheel is mounted on the side as, uh, as what should be, or what the Remus wants to move into the rear door. And then inside the, um, the dash is a bit different in that most of the controls are up here on this central panel. Presumably that was to waterproof the, uh, the panel to the side there. Um, and a few fitments still with it. It's got its map light and stuff. It's got its rifle racks in here. And a Domitor, it's 43,000 kilometers. These tended not to do much mileage. Uh, they were kept for, if you like, for want of a better term, special occasions. Um, and the last owner bought it directly out of the MOD. So it's only had the one owner since leaving uh, the MOD, I think it was cast in 2000 from memory. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Really not a lot in the way of bad bits. It's, um, it seems to be in its original paint. Still got some stickers on it. We have incidentally applied to the MOD for its, um, for its history. Uh, and we're waiting for an answer from them as to what they can tell us. Again, on the bumper there, that's something different. But all looks good around the front end. Uh, it's got all the uh, mountings for all the implements and tools and stuff. As you can see, looking down the near side, looks pretty straight down there. Got a couple of marks just up here. No, actually, they're not marks. I don't know what that was. Um, show you under the... It's running Goodyear G90s, as they tend to do. under the near side front corner. Bulk 
head. Oh, it's also got heated front screen, which is part of the um, part of the winterized setup. Uh, it's also got an escape hatch on the roof. Get stuck in the water. Uh, lost a bit of its coating on the mirror housing there. Inside door is all as it should be. And in here, just a little show the sun shining on here. Look up the bulkhead, you can't see a lot, I'm afraid, because of the sun. Um, But the seats are in good shape. It's got, say, the um, the Remus um, matting and stuff in it. Carrying on around, this side very wing is all good. Again, we'll show you under here. As you can see, the Wolf chassis is quite considerably different to a standard 90 chassis. Remember, all looks pretty good. We've been in the tailgate before, so we won't bother doing that again. It's got the NATO bumperettes. Looking down the offside again, looks pretty straight down there. Got a bit of a crack in the paint just along there, and some staining from where this aerial thing pops out or used to pop out. A bit of staining on the hard top again underneath here. Show you it's flat for the fuel filler. It's under there. Offside door. Got a big chunk of paint missing from the front of the offside door just there. Obviously, where it's hit the. Um, um, Wind's obviously caught it at some point and made it hit the bulkhead. The gate post. <clears throat> there on the bulkhead. Screen rubber's seen better days in fairness. Again, that's the dash, although most of the uh, warning lights have been moved to the centre there. Driver's seat's in good shape, no real wear, although a bit of mis slightly misshapen here. Obviously, some fat squad is getting out of it. Um, but yeah, nice untouched machine, this one, and it's incredibly rare, these. Uh, so I think there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drone.com for any more information. Okay, quick video of startup and idling on this uh, um, Land Rover Defender 90 Wolf winterizer waterproof one. Uh, ignition keys are a different place on these over here and as you can see the old light ignition light come up cold start light and the 24 volt light and then starts on the button and everything goes out as it should and then here we've got speedo temperature gauge and fuel gauge right show you under the bonnet <laughs> under bonnet of a winterized waterproof wolf that's the Babasto preheater there, the Babasto engine heater, if we haven't checked in fairness. Otherwise, standard wolf. Um, this one's still got its extra alternator on it. Got engine running nicely, straightforward 300 TDI. Looks like this one is the original military engine rather than a, um, a military reconditioned one. But then again, 
it has already done 43,000 kilometers. So, there we have it.